Welcome again to Introduction to Mobile Technology. This video we're going to be talking about the course content. What do I expect of you, the student of this course? We will be looking at um, the online environment, which is designed just like the course outline, and so on. By now, everybody would have been familiar with MIT App Inventor Part Two, which you're supposed to be trying at this point in time to do some of the tutorials online to develop the various applications to get to learn the tool effectively because you will be able and you would be required to as well to produce applications based on the app inventor too we're going to begin with an introduction to mobile telephone system with an introduction to mobile telephone system which will take us into next week we're going to be looking at this mobile lecture one so we're getting into some details in terms of what is mobile systems in terms of an introduction in terms of what is base station what is the P PSTN network, otherwise known as the public switching telephone network, the mobile switching center, and so on. We're going to move on afterwards to mobile devices, right? And with these mobile devices, we're going to look at this mobile lecture too. You also could look at this uh, tutorial online showing you how to recover deleted SMS messages that was deleted. There's a, a tool that you could use to recover those SMS messages and so on, and MMS messages to recover content that was removed from your phone you could also recover content in terms of like photos and pictures and so on there are very various a lot of tools um, that you could use you're also looking at mobile systems where we're going to be introduced the sim subscriber information module user equipment as well in terms of the mobile workstation what some people refer to as a mobile handset We'll also look at the difference between the radio access networks, the base station controllers, and the core network. We're going to get into detail in that area when we reach there. So you're going to pay particular attention to this slide here, Mobile Lecture 3. Right? And of course, you can look at these multimedia videos and so on. We're going to also look at Mobile Switching Center, which is going to take us to week 4. We're going to look at Mobile Lecture 4. We'll be looking at it in a more detailed environment in terms of the switching centers and so on. Right? We can also look at some of the activities that we're going to do in terms of the App Inventor, which you could um, actually um, install or look at some of the tutorials and so on in order for you to design some mobile applications and some robust mobile applications too as well. We we'll look at mobile system operations in terms of access. When you reach this slide here, we're going to look at Mobile Lecture 5. You could take a look at some of these videos here in terms of the technological um, challenges and so on. And you can look at some of the lab activity, but you're not required to do this lab activity here nonetheless. Alright? And then we're going to get down into multiplexing technologies in terms of analog systems, first generation. So we're going to look at this particular slide, lecture 6. Alright? Um, this slide is already designed and developed for you. Alright? And then we have the digital second generation and 2.5G. As you can see, this slide is also developed, so you could just listen to it. Alright, and so on for four generation technology. As we get to the quiz central now, we're going to look at the mobile lecture one, is quiz based on this. After when you finish mobile lecture one, that means that you will you'll be required to do this quiz. So this quiz will be due like probably within the next two weeks. And take a look at our mobile lecture one. When you look at mobile lecture two, three, four, and five, then you're required to do this quiz. Only when you are finished lecture 2, 3, 4, and 5, then you will do this quiz. And of course, you're going to do the midterm. Alright? Um, and the real midterm too as well. Alright? And this final revision quiz will be a quiz that I would advise you all to take a look at. You're going to upload your screenshots and the APK file in this little forum here. When you finish your project, because I'm going to require you all to do a design a mobile project as well. All right, and that will be the end of the course. You just do your review, and of course, this particular slide is very important for each and every single person to watch. This is considered a must watch video lecture for mobile technology review. You're going to do this before you enter into any examination. All right, any questions? We are on Facebook, we are on YouTube, we are on um, WhatsApp. And this is your entire content that we're going to be looking at as an introduction to mobile technology.